Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of one of the exercises in Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. Um, to get to his book, first just go to learnpythonthehardway.org, and the text is available there for free. If you were to click right here, that is the uh, index, the table of contents. If you click on that, it will take you here to the book. There's the table of contents. We're going to be going to the appendix at the bottom, the command line crash course. It's sort of a prerequisite for doing the rest of the course, and that's what we're working on right now. So if you were to click on that, it would take you to this uh, page right here, the command line crash course, with its own um, table of contents. And what we're going to be doing right now is number 12, exercise 12, view a file using two different commands, less and more. Okay. So if you were to click on that, it would take you to this one, and it's a pretty short um, it's a pretty short lesson, but there's some important things here. Let me start by reading off the top. He says, to do this exercise, you're going to use the commands you have so far. You'll need, right here he says, you'll need a text editor that can make plain text files. Now, truthfully, if you have Microsoft Word, you can do that. If you've got Google Docs, you can do that. Um, when I use plain text, I actually like to use ByWord, a uh, commercial program. But because Zed uses two other programs in the rest of the course, I recommend that you try them. If you're on a Mac, he recommends Text Wrangler. It's free, and you can get it right here. It's bare software, Text Wrangler, and you can download it right here. Now, um, all you got to do is Google for it, Text Wrangler, and this will be the first hit. If you're on a Windows PC, on the other hand, you'll probably want to use Notepad++. Let me make this a little bigger for right now. It's a very fabulous program, uh, very simple, and used by basically every coder who works on a uh, Windows. So notepad++.org, and again, just search for that. It'll pop right up. So get one of those, download it, and uh, open it up. Because the first thing we need to do is we need to create a text file. So he says, open your text editor, type some stuff in the new file. So I'm going to go to Text Wrangler, which I have open. And I've got it down here at the bottom corner. I'll put Z in the top corner here. Okay, by the way, uh, by default, I think it's got a white background. I set it up to look like the terminal because I wanted to. I'm going to type a little bit of text in here. This is sample text. It is for exercise 12. You have file. This should be enough. All right, so I've got my uh, document there. I'm going to save it, and he specifically says to save it to the desktop. And so on my Mac, I just make sure I'm at desktop, and I'm going to call it test, test.text. And then I've got the desktop open here in the finder. Now, if I hide everything else, let me do that with the little keyboard command. You can see that there it is right there. That's my document. It's got my text in it. You can also see it right here. Just another way of getting to the same stuff. There's the text. So let me get, there's Zed's instructions and there's Text Wrangler. And here is the terminal, which we're going to be working with. So our next instruction is this. He says, well, once we saved it to the desktop and named it test.txt, he says, copy this file to your temp directory. Okay, so I'm going to come back down here, and the temp directory is in my root folder. That's uh, that's bar. That's my home folder, and there's temp right there. Right now, it's got nothing in it. I got everything else and deleted it. So here's what we're going to do. First off, let's just make sure that I'm in my root directory. I hit CD, uh, and that takes me back. So BP is the name of the computer. The tilde represents the current working directory or folder, and it's my home one. That's called Bart right here. And then the BART with the dollar sign is the command prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type up ls to list the stuff that's on uh, in my root directory. Okay, cool. The one that I need is the third one on the left is desktop. So I'm actually going to do cd to change directory. And I'm going to go to desktop. Remember that uh, the terminal is case sensitive. So I have to do a capital D here. And now you can see that I am in the desktop right here. So I'm going to do another ls to see what's on the desktop. And the one I'm then looking for is, there's the trash. There's a couple of folders I have on my desktop. There's a little 
Thomas database. These these are actually invisible files. Those ones and that one. See if I go to my desktop, you just see the other things. But the one I'm looking for is this one right here, test.txt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and move it into my temp folder. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the temp folder right now. It has nothing in it. I'm going to come right here and the copy command is cp, copy. And then write the name of the thing that you're going to copy and it, you need to be in the current directory or otherwise specify where it is. I'm in the desktop directory, which is where the file is. So I can just type test.txt. Remember to have the same capitalization. And then you type where you want it to go. Now you can actually type the name of a directory right here. So I am going to do, um, because I have to back up a little bit, because uh, temp and desktop are at the same level, I'm actually going to do a little tilde to emphasize. That means go back to my root folder, and then a slash, and then a temp. And that specifies the temp folder. And you see, it just appeared right there. It's the same text that I had on the desktop. So that's the good thing. Now Zed says to do a couple of other things. He says, do this. Type less, that's the name of the command, and then test.txt. So we're going to do L-E-S-S, -S, then test.txt. And what it does is it, um, re it replaces the window with the uh, text of the document. So you see, for instance, it's, it's all right here, and it's the same as what's down here. So that's convenient. Oh, they, they highlight very differently. To get out of this one, you hit Q for quit. And then we're back to where we were. Now, um, in case you want more information about the less command or anything in the terminal, what you want to remember to do is this, M-A-N, that stands for manual, and then the command you want information about. So I'm going to do man less, so manual for the less command. I'm going to hit return. And um, now there's several ways to move down. If you do the enter key, you can move down one at a time. If you do the arrow down arrow, you move down one at a time. But a neat trick also, which I didn't show you earlier, is if you do the space bar, you move a whole screen at a time. Or if you do the letter W, you go down a whole screen at a time. And if you ever want to get back, just hit Q and for it to quit, and you're back to where you were. So that's man. So again, let's take a quick look at what that does. I just did the up arrow to go to my last command. I'm sorry, I didn't want man. I wanted less text. I'm going to hit the up arrow three times. And that gets to less test.txt. And it just it sort of lays it over the window. I'm going to hit uh, Q to quit. Now we're going to do more. More is the other command that we're going to learn. That's this one right here. OK? This one's going to look a little different. The difference is it shows the text right here. Now, if it were a very long file, I would have to scroll through it and kind of take up everything. But that's where we are. By the way, um, it's a good idea to clean up. I wanted you to be aware that while I normally use the command K to clean up on my Mac, there's also a straight ahead text command. You can just type the word clear and it clears out the window. And then I'm going to go back to my home directory and all is well. I'll see you in the next movie.